Well, hello internets, here we are. We got ourselves a little bit of a uh, voiceover vlog once again. Feeling a bit better than I was and uh, way better than I was uh, even a week ago. I uh, was able to uh, make my first large grocery run first time I've bought groceries in uh, uh, over a month for sure. I uh, took precautions of course. I have uh, isolated for well like uh, two three weeks before this and then uh, another two weeks uh, after um, after this and uh, so I believe um, I am good. Um, it's not so much isolation because I don't believe I had anything more than a really, really nasty flu bug that had the potential to go um, go severe if I wouldn't have uh, had the high fluid type of uh, um, diet if you want to call it that I was on and the the, medi the the cold medications and the hot steam uh, that I did and the the care that I had from my auntie bringing me well the above items right I have uh, I went out one day um, I think a couple of days ago there I believe it actually was the morning that I was able to do the big, big grocery run. Went down to the doctors and uh, they wouldn't see me because, well, they're far too busy, even though at 8.30 in the morning when they opened, I was the only person in the waiting room. You know, they couldn't have seen me for 10 minutes and said, oh, you should probably have a chest x-ray and then broke her little chest x-ray thingy and sent me on my way. Booked an appointment in three weeks to come back or, you know, a month and a half to come back if they're that overwhelmed. But, you know, whatever, right? Once again, the doctors are stressed, they're overwhelmed and uh, um, they're doing the best they can. I have uh, ongoing minor ongoing symptoms that are uh, far uh, less than what they were by far. They're just kind of bothering and troublesome at times. It is uh, aggravating my disability. I'm not a hundred percent sure if it was the fact that I fell down the stairs, which is definitely uh, not good for it. Or if it's the fact that um, my diet is all messed up and I haven't ate what I should have been eating and you know I haven't uh, I'm kind of behind on everything and still feeling dehydrated still been uh, pounding back the fluids however I did have my first piece of meat uh, the other day which was most definitely a plus I, uh, I'm very, very weak. Um, after I did my grocery run, it took me like four or five days to bring everything up the, uh, up the stairs to the apartment. Things that I normally could carry four or five bags of groceries. I was only able to carry two bags that were, uh, loaded quite light, so... I believe I mentioned it in my earlier, one of my earlier videos, or or at least thought I did, um, about the cases of water being extremely heavy, and I believe those cases of water only weigh about 30 pounds or 28 pounds or something like that, and well, I used to be able to carry two of them up the stairs at once. I haven't... Um, attempted yet to 
carry my big um, what are they are 19 liter or 5 gallon whatever those big blue water jugs I used to get my water that way up until I got sick and then when auntie brought me um, uh, groceries she started buying those cases of water so I haven't got them yet which um, will probably happen in the future hopefully I uh, placed an order online for some stuff you know stencils for the winter uh, painting projects and uh, a new camera handle type holder rig thing because I would like to try phone uh, recording with my iPhone however um, there's still a bit of a hiccup with that which uh, I've been battling for years ever since there was an update or some kind of change I can no longer sync the phone with the computer to transfer over the photos and videos I used to be able to do that but apparently I can't now or you need some kind of proprietary expensive thing to make it happen so we will have to um, uh, work around that for the future well one of the things that uh, happened when I was feeling my worst was I get a phone call from the uh, a shipping company now most of these shipping company phone calls I ignore because 99% of the time they're just scammers trying to get your credit card number or WestJet trying to say you won for a free trip that they want your credit card number or whatever but I don't know this one here felt that I should answer and I did and apparently uh, I had ordered a set of generator uh, wheels for my Honda uh, 3000 IS generator and the listing said it was gonna be like uh, nearly two months before they got here so I thought well you know the generator is winterized and put in the garage I did that shortly after I brought the trailer back from the last uh, camping trip because I had planned to work on the trailer this fall do some changes to the interior and uh, you know update it a bit for next season and I uh, ordered these wheels and hey you know two months is two months it's fine well I don't think it was much longer than maybe three weeks and I was getting the phone call they were here so I called back the number and well they don't uh, apparently they don't deliver to my address um, even though it said nothing in the listing about not delivering to my address so I asked them, oh, well, can you deliver it to another address? Well, no, it, it has to be my address that's whatever, whatever. And I said, well, is there anything that can be done? And Well, she goes, well, we can send it back. Well, these generator wheels are, I don't know how much they were, I forget how much, but they were the amount, a, a, a significant amount that I couldn't afford to lose if the package got lost or damaged in transit or even if the uh, seller would even refund my money without having to me to pay shipping you know and stuff like that right so I remembered my days from back in the freight industry and I said to them can you hold it at your 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 depot or dock for um, as long as possible and she said oh yeah we can hold it for a month and I thought to myself well <laughs> in a month I'm either gonna be in the hospital because I've gotten worse or I will be able to pick that up whether it's uh, my auntie driving or maybe my ex um, came out of the woodwork and you know reached out for a coffee or something or maybe I am feeling better and I go out there myself 
So I, uh, that was in the back of my mind throughout these last, uh, while here because the days were ticking away and I called her, uh, last week and, and said, hey, can you hold it for just a little bit longer? I am, I will be here. You know, by this time I was feeling better. I knew that, uh, maybe in another week or so I would be able to drive to... Um, I believe it's like 50 minutes one way, so it'd be like an hour and a half or whatever round trip. And Well, I packed myself a uh, change of clothes, um, a pair of sweatpants, a towel, um, doped myself up once again with uh, cold medication and other stuff, and uh, struck out for to pick up these generator wheels. And I made it there, and I uh, was there exactly when they opened, when I said I would be. Picked up those wheels and headed back home. I am so uh, blessed to have such a dependable vehicle. Even a dependable vehicle that I haven't been as diligent as I should have been in the last year to maintain because of everything that's gone on. The truck made it perfectly fine. There's no flat tires, no issues with the battery, which is uh, one of the things on my list. And uh, got on back home, opened the package up, and of course, because it was Amazon, it was a box inside a box uh, surrounded by a bunch of uh, paper. And I cut that box open, and from what I can tell, everything is there, so. I am in no shape to uh, install the kit right now, but I guess that will be a video for next spring or so when I am setting up the, the generator for another season. You know, I still have to uh, work on the trailer, however, uh, the money that I had set aside to work on the trailer has uh, um, been used to pay the bills and um, pay for food and groceries and stuff that I've used to survive the last uh, couple of months. For those wondering why I didn't just uh, pay online banking for my bills. Um, because of everything that's gone on, uh, I've had to switch accounts a few times in the last little while. And when I switch accounts, it runs everything into chaos. And one of the chaos victims, of course, is the online banking. My auntie is, uh, well, has been such a blessing through these last little while. And I figured, well, you know, she does banking, she does uh, things. Um, I gave her, or I was going to give her a, uh, a wad of cash and my bills which are only three bills I had written out on a piece of paper how much I wanted on each bill and and of course the account numbers I had circled on the bill and everything and and um, I wanted her to go into the bank and essentially put these bills on the counter and say I would like to pay these bills now the teller enters them in onto my auntie's account with my cash and pays them, which um, I've never had a problem paying somebody else's bills nor having somebody else's bills paid on my account, but sometimes um, when the person doesn't quite understand what you're trying to say, it doesn't work out and my auntie couldn't uh, understand what I was trying to say and couldn't pay my bills and that is why I had to go out that day to pay them or else uh, even though I had isolated and I and I had uh, I was pretty sure that I didn't have anything more than just a violent type of flu I was hoping auntie could save me the the, the last uh, this last bad outing that I didn't have to do and I could stay to recover my auntie is a great lady and all, but sometimes we just don't understand what the other person 
is trying to say and maybe in my semi uh, coherent state that I was in which I was pretty rough then maybe I wasn't making sense either because uh, well uh, looking back at some of the things I, I wrote down some of the things I recorded I'm not a hundred percent sure there was an ambulance coming every uh, few hours from my neighbors and uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure when I woke up from my fever type dream when I was sleeping that I was really awakened by constant uh, uh, sirens whether it was ambulance or police or fire and when a person is um, for the lack of a better word semi delusional they can sometimes imagine things and uh, that aren't happening they can sometimes have trouble um, speaking <laughs> coherently even though even though in your brain it's uh it's coherent but when it comes out of your mouth it's a jumbled mess and maybe i wasn't making sense to auntie and she was just too um too polite to say hey you know you should probably go lay down because you're you're a disaster but uh, thanks for joining me on this here video. Um, I guess it is what it is, and around we go. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's Vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.